Hello, it's Natasha, and we are today going to play a little bit with the Exabis ePortfolio and see what it has to offer us. Um, here is the block with the Exabis ePortfolio on the main page. You can see the sections, my CV, my portfolio artifacts, my views, shared views, shared categories, import, export. So. I'm going to go straight to my CV, but I'm not going to edit much because notice it's a lot of work. And I think it's really worth the time, especially if you're planning on teaching on Moodle, then you want your portfolio to look nice and professional. Here you can add your complete CV, your cover letter, your educational history, your employment history certifications, accreditations and awards. Uh, notice that you can um, describe your certifications and then you can upload them as attachments, as files. And as I said, it's all lovely. Uh, you can also add books and publications, professional memberships, and then you can say more about yourself, your goals, your skills, your interests. Um, I'm going to edit one thing, because it is easy for me, um, and that's badges. Because my badges are already here, at least my Moodle badges are here. Um, and adding your badges to your XBC portfolio is as simple as ticking them here. So these are just my four Moodle badges that I have at the moment. Unfortunately, I can't see here my, my badges from uh, Backpack, but never mind, this is good enough at the moment. There are dates, there are the badges themselves, and here they are. So that's your ePortfolio. A lot of work, that's your, sorry, your CV. A lot of work, but totally worth your time if you're planning on keeping it forever. Then the next section is your portfolio artifacts. And the way I understood this, um, this task is that we should work on this one, that we should actually um, upload a blog post. Now, First time I went here, I was a little scared by these category link file note. But as you can see, I already managed to, to add one internal blog post here. And I did it two ways. I did it as a link and as a file. This is what the blog post looks as a file. There isn't really anything to see, but you can click on download. And uh, I didn't add a description, I should have, but still you can add on download and it will download as a web, web page and you can read it. I have to say I prefer the way it looks like a link uh, because you can simply click on the link and it will take you to my actual blog post here on the site. Um, under description, I actually copy pasted the post, which is something I personally like. So um, we're going to do the same two things uh, with another uh, blog post of mine. We're going to add it as a link and we're going to add it as a file. Adding it as a link is going to be faster because here is my blog entry. It's already upload it to my blog as a blog entry. Um, and I will first of all copy the link address and then I will add it here. And the title of my blog post is Effective Course Design 
And here where it says content, I can describe it a little bit. I can say, look, this blog post is about uh, effective course design. I use the following external link or so on. Um, but I'm going to repeat what I did on my other um, link uh, that, that I just showed you. Um, and I'm going to press pause because you don't really need to watch me copy paste this. So see you in a second. The post has been copied. Now I'm going to paste it here. And I'm going to save submit. And maybe I'm going to say it one more time because the first time nothing happened. And here it is, effective course design. If you follow the link, it will take you where you want to go. But if you'd rather not, you can simply press more and it will just give you the, the whole blog post. Um, I'm going to hide this. And now we're going to add the same blog post as a file. Now, this is a bit more involved. Here is what you need to do. Okay, so you need to go to your original post. This was um, published on the week one forum, if I'm not mistaken. And then you scroll to the bottom of the post and you click export to portfolio. And then you realize that your session has timed out. I'm sorry, I will have to log in again. And in the meantime, I will press pause. And I'm back. This took a while. Um, I mean, finding the original post again took a while. And I'm glad you didn't have to listen to it. So, where were we? Export to portfolio. But we're not going to export it as a blog because we already have it as a blog post. Instead, we are going to choose File Download. And then we will click Next. And it will offer to save it as HTML, HTML and something else. Just don't touch anything. HTML is fine. Click Next again. And, of course, you need to confirm, continue, and this will now download as a, it says post, post one, because I already have one um, here, it will just download as a web page. And there it is. And now when we go to our Exabis ePortfolio and we want to add a file, the title is the same. Effective course design. And we will add the file from here. Sorry, I think I pressed the wrong button. I didn't. There it is. Upload file. Choose file. And Post one, upload this file. There it is. Submit. And there it is. This time as a file. Now I can edit this file. 
I can edit the file. I want to edit it. I want to add more stuff here. Um, notice that I can add the URL. I can add the content. Um, like a description. So I'm going to add the content here. So I have copy pasted um, the blog post here because I because I like it that way. So instead of going anywhere else, you can stay right um, where you where you are and read the whole thing. And just to make it easier for you um, to read the blog post, I'm going to add its URL here. So I've kind of added it three ways here because the safety in numbers. I've added the URL. I've added, added a file in case you want to read it offline. And finally, in the description area, I have added the text. And when I click Submit, here it is. And when I look at it, Here is the downloadable file. It will download as a web page. Here is the link to the actual post. And here is the post itself. Now, this, that's maybe a bit too much. Maybe there is no need to add it three times. Maybe there is no need to add it two ways. But remember, we are just playing with the system to see what it can do. And we are trying to learn as much as we can about it. Now, I think that during this video, uh, I pressed pause like five or six times. Um, I was interrupted by members of my household. I was interrupted by the system, which kicked me out. I couldn't find stuff. Um, so now that I listen to this thing, I will have to decide whether I want to keep it. I will probably keep it blunders and all. Um, and just hope it's clear and useful. I also know it's a bit long, so signing off now. Bye.